All right, man. Scratch Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're gonna be reacting to Ti. You know, talking to his son and, and basically putting him in his place. So we'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this dude is so hard. Oh! Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. Uh, yeah, so let's get into this man, T.I. and his son on on uh, live. Uh, if you'd like to donate, links in the description, cash at PayPal, and all that good stuff. So let's get into it, man. Let's go. I'm sure y'all probably have already seen the situation that happened with King and his father, T.I. All right, so instead of showing the snippet, we have the whole video right here of what took place. Looks like they got into an argument about him being from the streets or lack thereof. So y'all come in and let me know what you think. King, have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the goal. All right, then. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're talking about. I got some niggas in the neighborhood with me that broke up with a roach in your face. Y'all want to go to the y'all want to go to the bando in my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better. He say shit he know not true. Silver Spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Hey, hey, you did I have a silver spoon. Look, had a used to have to come rested. to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the you fight. You act like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You used to hold your breath. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. I'm going to tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because he can suck and pacify over there till you're 12 years old. He was suck and pacify till you're 12 years old. He can do that in the house. You cried like a baby. Hold it for Yeah, yeah, yeah. They trying to say I was over there trying to suck and pass it. But they ain't gonna tell you everything. Like they, they, yeah, they trying yeah, to hide it. Ain't nobody had it. He capping. Oh, he he capping. Hey. He know I stand on business. He, on he know money, that. Hey, no nigga it. Code it. He capping. Oh, he he capping. Hey. He know I stand on business. He, he know money, that. Hey, no nigga ever pulled my car her, ever sir. in life. I stand on business. You, you drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You, you drop me in your hood, man. I stand on business. I don't feel like you stand on business. Yeah. Said, I I stand on I've been stood on business. One nigga burned I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. I, hey man, I, I, nigga, hey I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere, nigga. Like, I ain't. You ain't had me behind a mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You like, what? You were behind no, the no, no, no. Niggas ain't got too much to drink. Niggas ain't drunk too much. Niggas drunk too much. Let's go. Niggas get mad because we say the South ain't the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other shit. Like, just be a city nigga. Just be a city nigga. No, I'm being real, nigga. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping, nigga. You capping. 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 I know you. You capping. I know you. I know you. I know you. Shut up. Shut up. I know you. Ain't no mystery about here. I know you, though. Man, I know you, though. I know you do. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you let somebody play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself and your family, nigga. You embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Man, what is you talking about? Get off me, nigga. Man, get off me, nigga. Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. Congratulations. 
played yourself. <laughs> Man, I hate videos like this. Like, I'm be honest with you. I really do. Because it's just, it's a waste of time. Not a waste of time. I, it's not a waste of our time. But it's a waste of time because a lot of times these people, man, they so they got they they so wealthy that they don't even realize the everything that they have going for them just right in the palm of their hands. It's so sad. While we out here working hard and, and being good people, you got this guy right here who's basically saying that he's from the hood and he was never never born in the hood. It's not from the hood. But he wants to glorify the hood as if that's something to be proud of. But you 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 was born in the money. You was born in the money. This that's just the bottom line. Like it's nothing else to it. You was born in the money, homeboy. But you wanna act as if like you this real nigga. I'm not saying that niggas from the suburbs ain't tough and they can't fight. I ain't saying that. But at least they know they from the suburbs. Say, listen, I'm from the suburbs, but I get down. But you got to feel like you have to be from somewhere where they get it popping. Mm -hmm. Violence and, and and then you get smart with your mother, calling you like saying to your dad, I'm a real nigga. You know who I am. I stand on my nigga talking to your dad like that. Mm-hmm. You talking to your dad like that? Your dad is the reason why you where you at today. These kids have no respect for their parents. And you know the thing is, I kind of blame the parents because they should have checked that little nigga from the beginning. He letting him say whatever. The way he's talking. Mm -hmm like oh yeah you're just expressing yourself no because that's what happens is it gets out of hand because you start to mm -hmm. let me test the waters a little bit my dad a punk let me let me let me see what he would do if i do this oh he ain't mm -hmm. gonna... oh yeah nigga and your dad said oh yeah you you funny little nigga nah yeah then the next day shut up nigga you funny little nigga look at you you growing up the next day Shut the fuck up, nigga. Mm -hmm. Just going up and up and up. And that's the problem. Mm -hmm. The mom touching on me like, get off of me. Telling his mom to get off of him. Come on, bro. So I'm just saying, man, it's a waste of time. Because this should have never happened. Should have never happened. But it is what it is. Yeah, um... First and foremost, regardless of where he grew up at, that was highly disrespectful. Highly disrespectful. Um, like I don't know, I don't know where his his uh, his um, disdain for where he's at now and wanting to be where he was before, if he was there. I don't know where that stems from, you know, I don't know, but I do know that they definitely should have checked in way before it got to that point. Um, there's something called respect, young man. You got to do that. Simple as that. It don't matter, you know, if you had a, a gripe with your father and your mother, you address that in private. Sec second of all, too, I don't like the fact that it was on video. I don't like it, that it was on video. I don't like that it was on camera. Um, that's an embarrassment to the child, and that's an embarrassment to the parents. Simple as that. You know, um, if I'm chastising my child for something that he did, I don't need to videotape it. I'm not trying to embarrass the child because at the end of the day, you know, we talk about it all the time. Social media, they take, they're recording, they're taking notes, you know, and this child becomes a grown man. He's in his 30s, 40s, whatever. He go back on YouTube, he sees that, you know, people gonna, people gonna mess with him for it. 
You know, at, even at a grown man, he might even get into a fight or two for it. Let me jump you know? in there real quick. It wasn't, he was recording. Who was recording? Him. Oh, oh, King was camera. doing that? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All no, right. He had the camera in his hand. He was recording. My, his my, stuff. my, my mistake. He was recording his stuff. My mistake. And, 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 and that's a tactical move on his part because you know that you can talk reckless in front of everybody on camera and your parents probably ain't gonna really do nothing to you because you're on camera so that's a tactical move but go ahead yeah well we see how that turned out <laughs> when his father when his father got it had enough of it his father only let but so much go far and and you see how that turned out at the end but you know getting back to what i'm saying you know closing off or whatever but you know um i I don't care, man. I just, I just don't have the goal to do that. You know, um, like we all got fathers, we all got mothers, no, no matter at what lifetime or whatever, like I cannot see myself speaking in that manner to my parents. It don't matter if my father was in my life or not in my life or whatever. I just can't see myself speaking to him in that manner is highly disrespectful and it's uncalled for and um you know you know what they say you know what i'm saying like you know honor thy father and thy mother and you know what i'm saying your life will be plentiful you know however however it goes in that verse in the bible but you know i know a lot of people don't believe in that nowadays so you know what i mean that's on them but for me I would have never done that, you know, like uh, they brought you into this world, you know, and they definitely can take you out if they see so fit, you know. So I do I do think that um, they should pull him aside and just really sit him down and talk to him about that, because it just it just was right. It didn't sit well with me, period. Hey, man, look. You know how it goes. We out of here. Yeah, peace. Bye.